Hey filmmakers, Shung here. In this video, we are going to talk about the digital cinema package and show you how to export it inside of Premiere Pro. So first thing, you do need to know a few things about the digital cinema package because if you are going to enter a contest, a film festival, or want to show your movie inside of a theater, you do need to uh, supply a DCP or digital cinema package for them to play. But there are also certain requirements you do need to follow to make sure that it actually will play on most of the theaters without having a lot of issues. So. First of all, uh, we're going to actually show you how to make a new sequence if you haven't uh, started uh, editing yet. So go to new item sequence and we go to settings and we're going to show you a few things you do need to follow. So first go to editing mode and choose custom so you can uh, choose to correct things or alter the whole sequence to the correct settings. So time base, we're going to choose 24 frames per second because this is internationally for every theater that can actually play 24 frames per second and yeah there are of course theaters that can play 25 frames per second but if you're gonna enter into contests in america and certain regions they won't be able to play pal and also often requirements do state that they don't accept PAL or 25 frames per second versions of uh, DCP. Then we go down here to frame sizes. So we have two aspect ratios we can choose from, for, which is flat and scope. And um, flat, the resolution is 1998 one, by 1080. So this is the flat aspect ratio and the aspect ratio flat and scope is basically the aspect ratio of the theater screen and they have those two screens so you do need to know beforehand uh, what kind of screens they have uh, in the theater and ask them which one they have and able to know like which aspect ratio works the best but uh, yeah the other one of course is scope which is 2048 by 858. So those are the two x ratio. It doesn't have the full or most theaters don't carry actually the full um, 2K of like 2048 by 1080. So yeah, you do need to know to choose between those two, which are the most important. But most people often nowadays film in scope anyways, because it just looks nicer. And um, pixel expect ratio, uh, yeah, just have it at one or square pixels. The rest under it is just plain normal. You don't have uh, interlacing and of course display is 24 frames per second. And then your audio is 48,000 and the rest is um, to your own liking. Personally, I always set the preview to GoPro Cineform because that will render uncompressed um, previews, which is faster to render out and also um, less compressed than the standard iframe. And yeah, that is what we're going for. And then, yeah, you can here choose the button save preset and save these as a preset. So that is okay. Now to actually rendering out. So go to file here, go to export media. And then the format, we choose all the way at the bottom, the Raptor DCP. So this is like a free DCP exporter inside of Premiere Pro. And then under presets, we have two choices, which is the 24 frames per second or the 25 uh, frames per second PAL. So of course we choose the 24 frames per second, which most creators can play. And then go to fear or go to video. And then codec is JPEG 2000, which all uh, theaters can play. 
and then the dimensions which I've already said we have here three versions but mostly what you should be looking at is scope or flat and then frame rate of course 24 the rest on here there's no real settings that you can choose and then additional DCP tools so if you have a theater that can play 4k for example and you want to like show a 4k movie inside that theater you can go to the QVIS website and rent or pay for the full DCP package to uh, have like 4k DCP or like even higher resolutions and also like uh, different frame rates but standard if you're doing most festivals the free version of this should be fine and then at audio uh, there's only option between stereo or 5.1 uh, Dolby surround and yeah it depends on your uh, mixing of audio of course the 5.1 would be nicer if you have somebody who can mix that for you and effects we don't have to choose anything and captions there's nothing also to choose and then basically start exporting it out and yeah DCP is a much much higher um, file size so do note if you are going to export it that you do really require a really big hard drive for it so if you have any questions please comment it in the comment section here below and while you're there please hit the like and subscribe button thank you all for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye bye